Chess Takam is here with Grandmaster Fabiano Caruana, who won his fourth game and will have a share of the lead going into round eight. Now, a couple evenings, you've been playing some bug house here at the U.S. Championship. Let's think back to your game today. You punched a hole on G7 with F6. Your king walked to D2 to get some air. There was some random pawn on A2, and you finished off with check, 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 uh, giving the initiative. So, any similarities between bug house and today's game? Yeah, it, it could sort of similar. Also, the structure he got would not be very good in bug house, where he has all the weak dark squares. Um, <laughs> so yeah, it's sort of sort of similar, but I didn't think of that. Well, you did sack a pawn two days in a row. Uh, well, not two days in a row, two games in a row. We did have an off day yesterday, mm -hmm. so do you feel like you're playing with a little more aggressiveness after that uh, loss to Zviad Azoria? I mean, in that game, I was uh, far too aggressive in a position which didn't really merit it. And in these two games, um, I mean, okay, yesterday my, pawn sack, my second pawn sack was not really correct, uh, but today I have a feeling everything was more or less correct, so I can't complain. You beat Alex Lennerman in the French in like 23 moves. Today's game was about 30. Do you feel particularly comfortable against the French? Um, I mean, I, I've done well overall, I think, against the French. Um, it's an opening which starts a, a very big fight. So I also play with black sometimes because it's a very interesting opening. It gives you chances to win with both players. Um, so yeah, I, I mean, I enjoy a sharp fight and chances for the initiative. And you made an interesting comment on the broadcast. You said you watched a movie on the rest day. Which one was it again? Ready Player One. Okay, and you said that when you watch a movie, it's really enjoyable as long as the movie is quality. Now, I can relate this to chess sometimes. When I'm struggling through a horrible position, I question my decision to play chess. Do you ever sit at the board in a horrible position and question your career choice? Usually only in a completely losing position. Because when there's still some fight left, you have some hope and... And you don't really think about the result, you still think about trying to, you know, hold on. But when you know that it's completely gone, um, yeah, that's not a great feeling. But uh, the good thing is you can resign and get it over with. <laughs> that's true, you could walk out of the movie as well. Yeah, but then you, you really feel like you wasted your money. I, I mean, I hate doing that. I haven't walked out of the movie in, um, I don't even remember when. Uh, I asked Levon Aronian a couple of years ago at the Sinkfield Cup what his favorite uh, movie was and director, and he says he likes Alfred Hitchcock a lot. Is there a director you like a lot? Uh, I, I mean, I like Tarantino a lot. Um, I like Scorsese a lot. Uh, Lynch, maybe, I would pick, but I'm not 100% sure, but it's, it's a tough choice. That's a wide variety. And final question, Magnus has a documentary made about him, but if you could have uh, somebody play you in a fictional version of Fabiano Caruana, who would it be? Uh, I have no idea. Okay. Um, yeah, can't, can't. Well, hopefully Hollywood will at least get the height right, unlike Tobey Maguire and Bobby Fischer. Yeah, that was, that was a bit off, because Fischer was like six-something, and Tobey Maguire is a bit under six feet, yeah. But I think if it's a good performance, it doesn't matter that much. I mean, but they could have, I guess they could have picked someone closer, and who was also a good actor. Absolutely. Well, keep up the fun Bughouse evenings, and good luck in the rest of the U.S. Championship. Thank you.